Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another code was kata find a unique number. So basically here there is let's let's try to read it. There is an array with some numbers. All numbers are equal except for one. So there's there's always gonna be just one number that is different. If guaranteed uh, it's guaranteed that the array contains at least three numbers. The test contains some very huge array so think about performance uh, this is a series so here we have to take an array and uh, identify the odd number there and here uh, I think this ar algorithm is about testing your performance because if this array has um let's say two million numbers it will be useless to scan through the whole 2 million to get your answer so how can we approach this um first of all you know what we call a set um let me open the cons javascript console right so if i type node <coughs> so that i can enter the node uh, gs console if i have an array made up of um two four five five six and two <coughs> if i convert it to a set let me call my set s to be a um, new set <coughs> it returns um nothing but if i want to view what's inside <coughs> i get the unique numbers without the duplicates so i'm going to use that uh, approach here i have a set made up of a new set so i'm going to convert the array to set and then i'm going to reconvert basically my set should have two elements right now so i'm going to create a second array where i'm going to reconvert the set into an array so this will become the reduced version of the array with just two elements i think this is the three dots let's be sure it works here so if i take uh, my array 2 i spread my set inside uh, the set is s this way and i display array 2 i get my array the same scenario here so we just convert it to a set and then we have a sub array which will have two elements at this point which is uh, the one repeating and the one uh, the odd number we are trying to distinguish so I'm going to look through the original array um, let's, let me just create the follow up you see what I'm talking about so yeah, this is my follow up let i starts at uh, 0 and why i is less than let's say 4 so what am I doing? I'm just going to take a sample of this array. That is why I end at four, meaning I'm going to to look through the first four elements that's at index zero, one, two, and three. I could look through the first three elements, that's still okay. So I'm just gonna take a small sample of it and and I'm going to check how many of the occurrences of one of these uh, set numbers are inside so let let me create a count uh, variable I put it to zero and then um, as I'm looping uh, from zero to four I'm going to check if um, the element in our array is equal to the first element of the set the first element is zero if that's the case i'm going to increase count now at the end of the loop what's gonna happen i've i have uh, two elements here and i'm counting just the first one and at the end of the array um if the i'm going to return if after counting i'm um, sorry i'm going to use a ternary operator <laughs> so if after counting i get um count to be equal to one 
that means uh, this first array was the odd element so I'm going to return it if it is not one it means the other one is the odd element that's it this is uh, a very efficient way I can think of it uh, let's try to test the code all right we have it now let me run the definitive test that's great so we have it um i can just submit so that we can see um any other approach that some other developers have a little bit of some slow internet Sorry about that, guys. All right. So this guy has basically sorted the original array. All right. When he sorts, um, those two elements will appear in the beginning. So. Uh, what happens is gonna check if the first element and the second are equal if that's the case he's going to pop as remove from the end like emptying the array if not um, you just return a zero well this is gonna work but it's not efficient because the sorting here is gonna take a lot of time if you have two million like i was talking about i guess that's what's in the comment section let's just see yep so he has been talked to talk about think about performance oops yep it's time consuming actually okay let's see um what's a better solution oops sorry well i'm gonna switch it back but right guys um i think i stole mine here all right i made a mistake and um i wanted us to go through um the other sets of solutions so that we can see a uh, multiple approach but i think we are very very efficient at this point All right, we're back. So, what about this uh, mapping? This is still not efficient because it loops through the whole array. Yeah, that's that's very very buggy. Alright guys, I'm going to stop here. I think our solution is pretty much um, one of the best I can see right now. Um, even the filtering, filtering also takes time because it has to go through the whole array in order to filter too. Now this can be interesting, uh, this solution so he's gonna check um is the first element and the second are they different if they are different um he's gonna collect the the fourth one i 
and put into auxiliary if they are equal then it's just going to take the first one and it's going to filter the whole of the array this still takes some time so far as you're working with the whole array in filtering see well i think uh, we have um, the best solution so see you on another video for another kata guys take care